you have to have a specialized uh, piston ring compressor to install it without right. catching that lip because there is a lip and and depending on uh, how much you go overboard, there's a lip right here oh, that if you I don't even catch that before. if you don't catch the uh, yeah. or if you don't compress the rings far enough, it can catch and break rings. Generally, when we build these, I order a couple sets of rings because you never know what's going to happen. So it's not just that you're going in at an angle. You've also got a lip inside yeah, and, the angle. And, and some of the, like the 348, 409 engines, they actually have a bigger step. Yeah. Um, that's how they, they, they cut them out differently for different combustion chamber sizes on those blocks. Okay. The, um, the other thing, too, is I know Ed's mentioned water diverters and other, other uh, blocks. Yeah. These ones come with uh, generally a... a, a a stamp steel tile okay. uh, water diverter. Right, and that's These gonna ones, corrode. Yeah, and that's gonna corrode. Generally we see they, they get destroyed or corroded. Um, and that actually will allow water to just circulate here and not right. fully go through the engine. So can you point out how the water goes with so the water pump? It would go through the block, uh -huh. back up to the back of the head, yep. fully forward through the head, and then back through this diverter, back into the water pumping out. Okay. Um, like I said, we have to replace these ones, and these ones are aluminum ones that we buy on eBay. Uh -huh. um, and you have to custom fit these okay. to the block. Um, they do take some trimming, but that's the best replacement for them. Okay, and unlike the old flathead, it's even though there's two inlets and outlets, you only have one water pump. That's it? Yeah, yep. okay.